25 years in prison after pleading guilty to the charge. Um, and what, what was really revel revelatory about it is that there was a point in the sting operation where Derek says to the informant, you know, if it, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have just stabbed somebody with a sting knife. And what was revelatory about it is that that showed what his capacity was. You know, Derek, it, to some degree, was an odious guy. He said hateful things, but in the end, the worst he probably could do is, you know, stab somebody with a steak knife on the street. And yet, the FBI, through this elaborate sting operation, was able to turn him overnight into someone that the media portrayed as a deadly and dangerous terrorist who was about to attack innocent people in a shopping mall. Um, so as part of this book, I, 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 in researching this, I came across a lot of stories like Derek Sharif, and I, I wanted to know how many there had been. You know, when there had been reporting about this type of activity by the FBI, it was always very anecdotal. There would be a story about an operation here and an operation there, and we can draw a trend because uh, they have similar attributes. Um, so, so what I did as part of a fellowship at the investigative reporting program at UC Berkeley was take every terrorism prosecution that the federal government had brought since 9-11 and look at each one and try to figure out how many involved a terrorist, how many involved an informant, like in the case of Derek Sharif's, and how many involved people like Derek Sharif, who were accused and charged with acts of terrorism, but on their own probably would have had trouble tying their shoes. And what, what we found, I think, was very startling, which is that if you look at the 500 cases, uh, roughly 500 cases in the decade after 9-11, uh, one in two, approximately half, involved an informant. And an informant was used in some ways you might suspect the informant provided information. Um, but in other ways, in, in uh, more than 150 cases, the informant played a more active role. It was part of a sting operation where the informant uh, portrayed himself as a terrorist or part of an aspiring terror cell, and to varying degrees empowered the person who the FBI was targeting. Uh, which is a similar case we have here with the Mohammed Mohammed uh, prosecution. And in these cases, what the FBI is looking for is what they term a lone wolf. So after 9-11, the FBI began to realize that the potential for a terror cell like we saw in 9-11